Hey guys, this video will cover the basics of configuring Image Occlusion Enhanced. The settings menu of Image Occlusion Enhanced can be invoked through Tools, Image Occlusion Enhanced Options. And it comes through with uh, three sections. The first section is um, includes settings that are that apply to the Image Occlusion Enhanced Editor. The second one includes a number of um, field name assignments that just modify the um, node type. And then you have a number of small miscellaneous settings that are advanced stuff that govern, for instance, which um, fields will be label specific or rather structure specific and which fields will be um, relevant to all of the nodes generated in image occlusion. Okay, so as you can see, there is a lot of things you can customize in here as far as the editor settings are concerned. Question mask is the mask that is applied on all of the shapes that are relevant to the question. So if you're asked about a specific structure, this color will appear on top of that structure. All of the other uh, masks or all of the other structures that might be covered will be covered with this color right here, the other masks color. And then we have the lines color, which just governs how the labels, or rather how the lines you might use for labels will be colored. Other settings include the width of label lines, the font, the label size, all of these can be customized however you want. Now, as far as the custom field names are concerned, the reason we have this section down here is because you can't rename any of the standard fields uh, through the normal um, node type dialog with an unkey. And that's because the um, add-on has to have some way of knowing which field corresponds to which uh, field and its internal representation. It has to know that the ID field is called this and this and the header field and it's called this and that, etc. So that's why if you want to rename any of the default fields, you will have to use this uh, dialog right here. So yeah, anything you want to change about the field names, you can change in here. And as far as this section down here is concerned, I will explain this in a, another video on editing, but uh, to give you the gist of it, it's just uh, a setting which makes you makes it possible to um, set specific fields as node specific, which means that when you edit that specific node set, these fields will uh, remain untouched or other fields will be applied to all of the nodes, but these fields that are in this section right here, that appear right here, will um, remain node specific. You, so you can use any of the fields listed in this comma separated list to supply uh, node specific information, for instance, information on one, on one specific structure on the image, on one specific shape, on specific occlusion, etc. Okay, so that's as far as the settings are concerned. You can restore the settings and uh, just apply the defaults by using this button right here. And these settings will also be synced across different uh, machines. So if you've got a Anki web account and use the syncing features, then these settings will also be synced across your devices. All right, so that's as far as the settings are concerned. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview. I hope you will uh, tune back in for another video. I hope to see you soon and yeah, bye.